Hello everyone, this is Pastor Mike Fred at Mission of Grace. I'm glad that you guys are here today. Uh, today we'll be getting into the book of Proverbs chapter 16 and uh, uh, reading about uh, what God wants us to do when it comes down to taking down, uh, going down certain paths. So let's uh, take a gander at this word here real quick. It says in 16 verse number 25, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. You know, um, especially today, guys, and you know, we look over these last few weeks and last few months, and um, I, I can look back at my life in general and see that there have been a lot of pathways that I thought were right. You know, uh, I'm sure that you guys have done the same thing. You know, uh, you'll take a job and think that it's the right job. You guys will, you know, get married and think that that marriage is going to be the right marriage. You know, you, you end up having kids and all this other stuff. Uh, you end up buying the house. You end up, uh, you know, getting a loan for a car. And, and uh, you know, you think it's good. You think this is what God wants you to do. And you'll even say it, you know. You'll even say, well, God wants me to prosper. Or God told me that I can have a house, you know. And, and so you'll go ahead and do these things and come to realize within the next few months or uh, a year or so down the road uh, that this thing becomes a hardship, becomes like a chain around your neck. And, and then within a few, um, few more weeks or months or years, you end up losing everything. Uh, there seems to be ways like that that are uh, countless ways. There's quite a few ways that seem right to a man, but they're, they end up in death. And uh, I don't know about you guys, I've experienced quite a few of those roadways. And so um, the Lord has kind of taken me back a little bit and made me realize that maybe before I start taking down or going down that road, that maybe I need to start taking some time and pondering my path. You know, looking ahead, looking behind, uh, making sure that I've got my dunks in order making sure that this thing is of God and not just me talking, you know, or not just me doing this thing, you know. I, I tend to realize if I end up doing this thing on my own, then I end up by myself. You understand God's not with me. But if I find myself with the Lord in the beginning, then he's with me in the end, you know. So, uh, but there's another passage. I want to go ahead and read it. It's in verse number 16, same chapter. It says, The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who keeps his way preserves his soul. You know, I, I love that verse because uh, in the aspects of looking at everything and pondering my path, I can now start understanding that if I want to choose the right way, if I want to choose a better path, then God has got a path for me that leads me away or departs from evil. And that thing, really, I can uh, kind of analyze my life. I can analyze the choices that I've made. And I can ask myself, am I departing from evil? Because ultimately, God wants you to be holy. He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to be real. You know, he wants you to be focused on him and not just on circumstances. He wants you to be free. He doesn't want you to be bound up in debt. Uh, and in all that, uh, we can analyze things. And does it lead us away from evil? Does the path that we're choosing today lead us away from evil? Or does it uh, place bondages in our life? Does it bring us back into our old habits and lifestyles? Uh, there's one way, and that way is righteousness. That way is godliness and holiness. It leads us away from evil. And then that last part says, and he who keeps his way preserves his soul. You know, we, we've got to learn how to do two things. Uh, first of all, we've got to start trusting more in the Lord and listening to what he wants us to do. And then number two, uh, we have to start uh, literally pondering our path and making sure that everything's good. You know, just because we're going down the path doesn't necessarily mean that we're going down the right path. And the Lord says that we can always turn from our wicked ways, amen, and be restored. Or if we're going down this path, just like if I had a brand new pair of shoes, and I'm going down a particular path, and I see a mud, uh, mud puddle or a big old hole that has a lot of mud in there, 
then uh, you know it, I, I can pass right on through and get my shoes dirty, or I can keep myself from getting dirty, and I can you know uh, ultimately stay clean. And that's the whole idea with that second uh, chapter or that second verse is that God wants us to stay clean. He wants us to be holy and blessed. And he wants us to be without sin. So guys, uh, ponder on these words here today. I hope God blesses you. I hope that God keeps you in the way. May your life be prosperous in the way that he chooses. Amen. God bless you. And we'll talk to you.